My name's Derek Everett. This is Death Pile and Taxes. That's all you really need to know if you want to have a good time. You're out there selling your stuff on the internet and you have questions about what you're doing or how you're going to afford it. We're uh, your guys. I'm the Death Piles and over across the desk from me is... Uh, I'm uh, Adam and I am the Taxes. Uh, everybody knows what that is, but uh, what the heck is Death Pile? Well, fortunately everybody knows what that is. Death Pile... I guess we might need to explain this, is uh, after you've been sourcing for your online merchandise, uh, it's a lot funner to buy, and uh, the selling part kind of stacks up. So when you got a whole lot of items sitting over in that corner, maybe in that closet or on your living room floor, that's what we call a death pile. So is that like one of those new like snowflake words that you use because you're really a hoarder? Well, if you're not selling it, that's hoarding, right? So you're not really hoarding it as long as you have intentions and or. Well, let's say this. If you're not selling, you're hoarding. How about that? That's, that's a good, uh, good thing. So that's what we're here to talk about today is taxes and your death pile. How do we get rid of that death pile? How do we uh, pay it, taxes? Keep it growing, man. That's the thing. I might be a snowflake. I don't know. I've been called a millennial. I'm pure as the driven snow. So, you know, I'll take it. I've been called a lot worse by a lot better, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. I don't know what that means, but yeah, um, it is. It's it's tax time. We're here to the J January thirty first. This is episode number two. Oh, on my intro, I knew I was forgetting something. I had that whole "this is a good time" speech going, but episode number two, episode you're, you're, one is in the books. You're such a rookie. Yeah, you know, but we'll get better at this. You're, I'm going to cut that from your salary. No, that's all right. Don't take it out of my good pay, though. You can take it out of my taxable, fungible money. You're fungible. Well, good thing to know. We actually just met with our uh, graphic designer today. Woo. Yeah. That's a fancy... That's college terms. That's right. And we've got our uh, producer. Yeah. A producer. Yep. She'll be putting it, uh, uploading it for us. She'll? Yes, sir. Women work with us? Yeah, well, yes. And her brother, too. Oh, well, there we go. We're, a family affair. That's right. And mom will be helping. We're, we're all the... You know, give everybody an opportunity. Well, we'll uh, recap on a little bit of episode one, but I want to uh, cover this week what happens when we get this, uh, when we sell something, right? That's like the best best feeling in the world, basically. When uh, you hear that ka-ching on eBay. Have you ever heard the eBay ka-ching? I uh, don't know what you're talking about. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a magic machine here, else I'd play it for it. Did you hear that? No, I, I, can you play it again? No, I can't. That's only one of those one thing. <laughs> Luckily, somebody bought something from me right as we were talking about it. Guess what I just sold? I, with you, uh, another MacGyver jacket? I wish. It's pretty good, though. Think about what's coming up Sunday. Um, Yo, man, I don't... Uh, oh, this... Is it like a football match or something? A football match on the pitch? On the pitch, yeah, that's right. You well, let's just say it's the big game, because I don't know if we can say Super Bowl or not without getting sued, so I'm not going to say Super Bowl, because well, we might get sued. It's not like Roger Goodell's going to catch it, just like the uh, penalty there with the Saints. Oh, oh, I, that's even better. What was that sound? Uh, please ship now. Oh, wow. So the ka was the pay. This is, hey, we paid you the money, please ship this out, which leads right into what we're going to talk about. But, all right, what are we going to talk about? But Besides first the, off, the Super Bowl. We first off, see, I'm getting all sorts of dings. I'm going to turn this thing off. You're dingy. If my phone goes off during the podcast, I owe each and every one of you a, a cold swig of water for the working class man. <laughs> or a beverage of your choice if we ever meet up in person. I'll, I'll take a cold water to that. And so, uh, yeah, there's this guy. His name's Rob Gronkowski. You ever heard of him? Roberto, yeah, yeah, I know who he is. Well, he just made me uh, a few shackles, we'll say. Oh, my, what, what's going on here? <laughs> I have to close the window here. Somebody is driving to your office? <laughs> I thought we were in a secure location. We are. I need a fan. It's, it's a little hot in here. When you're in the middle of the country, you're going to hear big diesel trucks drive by on occasion, and that's just what happened. We had the window cracked so we could have some ventilation because between the two of us, there's a lot of hot air being spewed. That's a true, true statement. Anyways, just sold a Rob Gronkowski rookie card, funny wow. enough. So... They're going to want that shipped off, and, you know, they're probably going to want it in time for the Super Bowl. Maybe they got some superstition, or maybe they're just uh, going to be showing it off to friends and family at that Super Bowl party, you know? So, hold on a second. You're telling me that <clears throat> you just sold a football card? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I can get into details. It was a Ron Gronkowski rookie uh, PSA graded 10 rookie card. All right, that was might as well be in Spanish for me. 
which I could comprehend, amigo. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, but, uh, you sold the football card. What, what did you sell it for? I don't know what. A buck? Buck fifty? Well, let me see what it was even graded. Oh, I already put it off the phone. Um, no, I think it was like thirty bucks. Shut up. Let me see. Thirty bucks? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like his. Uh, it wasn't even a tops brand. Let me see what brand it was. Hold up. Now you're gonna make me do work. I just come over here to talk to you and get tax advice. Maybe make a pod cart. Pull the wagon a bit. Let's see. Get back on that World Wide Web. A pod cart. That, like that truck scared me a bit. I know it did. We had to relocate the uh, fan. Oh, it was a door. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get specific. Can you get your specific? So we had us a 2010. This is a mint gem 10 grade out of, out of 10. And uh, maybe I gave this guy a deal. Rated rookies. So 2010 rated rookie. Rob Gonkowski. Yeah, $30. And then uh, you charge shipping on this. So it's just under $4 to ship. So $34 for a football card. And what did you pay for said football card? Um, I bought like a big bulk. Let me think where I even got that. I bought a bunch in bulk, probably at a, a Walmart clearance or something like that. Went through and found all the good ones. So for a pack of several hundred, I probably paid less than $5 would be my guess. Um, but then to get it graded, I think it was probably... I, so I took the cards that I thought were of value, and I sent them in to have them uh, professionally graded, which increases the value and gets them certified, all that kind of good stuff. I think that process was about seven to nine dollars a card. Plus, I sent in a whole bunch. So let's just say I was into it, even seven dollars. Wow. <clears throat> so what you're telling me is, if if you do a little more of this and a little less of what else you're doing, you can make some real coin. I'm just saying, you know, you have to be aware of your current events, which isn't even where we were going to head. But uh, you got some big games coming up. You get horse races coming up. There's all sorts of things going on in the world, and people are interested in them. Buy things for that, right? Did you say horse races? Uh, yeah. Are we going Evanston Downs again, finally? <laughs> going there again, finally. The one time I rolled up, were you there? When we I, rolled was up? There I was there. And it, yeah. it was closed? closed. Yeah. It's closed. Yeah. We might want to research that next time, but we got a whole lot of fireworks, so it's almost as good. It's better than going to the Greyhound track. Uh, you'll have, like, I mean, the pre prequis? Preakness. What's that horse race? Preakness. 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 There you go. I was thinking Kentucky Derby was. I was coming around. I was going to show you that I really knew horse racing. <laughs> yeah, the Belmont. Stakes. The Belmont. So all those kind of things. You have. I mean, the Super Bowl, World Series. You have. So you're saying that's kind of the time to hit those things? Is you got those? You got items? the Bachelor season finales. You got. Yeah. I mean. Thanks, Jesse Palmer. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure was mine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or so what, you're, what you're saying is, if you're if you're smart with your items, you kind of hit you hit it hard during when they're well, hot. There's different mindsets. I mean, let's be honest. I just didn't put that card up the other day, thinking, "Hey, Patriots are probably going to be in the Super Bowl, right?" So I, I put I'm more of a list it and forget it type mindset. Some people are I hit it when it's hot and you know get it going. So it's all on your mindset. But yeah, you got to be thinking about those kind of things. I mean, uh, I heard the other day. Most people, most businesses like to think 90 days down the road, right? Okay. So, what's three months from now? 90 days. Yeah. Oh. I'll be, yeah. Sorry, you're looking for specifics here. Isn't that, what we got February, March, April, so May. May. The beginning of May, right? So, uh, what, what we got then? We're starting summer, yeah, spring's yeah. kind of ending. Yeah. yeah. So, if you're asking me, you're looking that way, you're going to be thinking swimsuits, you're going to be thinking shorts, you're going to be thinking kids are out for school, what kind of things do they want, maybe summer camp. Um, that kind of stuff, right? I mean, you're, you're all over this. You're NBA getting, playoffs at that point, if you're into sports. Yeah, Utah Jazz. Utah Jazz basketball. Uh, you see uh, Forsengis just got traded today? No. Kurtzop? Now you're speaking German to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kurtzop. Excuse me? Excuse you? I, Kurt Did I offend you that much? Forsengis? I don't. I, yeah, yeah I, no, I didn't see. But Dallas yeah. Mavericks. Got I'm just saying there's a niche for every itch, so scratch it. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Well, going back to your uh, your, your trading cards you just got. All right, so yeah, you Ship, just heard that ching right? You had to ship it, right? Because didn't shipping well, costs just go up or something? Well, here's the deal. I had, I need to ship it now. They want it. I need to get to them in two days. I, I don't even know where they're at. And once again, I've turned off that phone. So now what do we do, right? Yes, what do we do? Now i got to know where that item's at. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to have to find in my uh, storage. In inventory. In my inventory, if you will. i got to find a Gronkowski card. I might have several of those. So how do I know which one just sold? I have no idea. 
So I've got, I have to have a system for that. Do you have a system for that? Fortunately, I do, but a lot of people don't. Is your system named Holly? She is a good system, but even she has her limits when it comes to dealing with me. I mean, Allison? Allison, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Don't be getting, don't be getting uh, defaming my wife's good name on this on this podcast. Hey, her aunt just made me some really good uh, banana muffins. Yes, yeah, shout out to Aunt Joanne for some banana muffins. And they were lovely. I haven't had one yet because uh, I have this thing where I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna see if he makes it to the end of the podcast before he kills over. If not, yeah, I know they were poisoned. Are you talking about those special pills you need to take before <laughs> you eat the brownies? Oh, I got a story about that later. Okay, but uh. Yeah, if, it, on, if, I, if, if you don't die, I know they're good. All right, we'll give us a shot. Uh, anyway, so I got all my cards in one location. I break them down to, you know, here's my football, here's my wrestling, here's my basketball, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go find my basketball and say, oh, that's nice, but Gronkowski plays football, right? Okay. So I'm going to go through there. I'm going to match up my numbers with there's a certification number on there, make sure I'm getting the right card. Then I'm going to need to pack that thing up. So... You know, you want to make sure it gets there. Obviously, they bought this card because they want it to be in good condition, like it's listed. So, you got your packing supplies. Now, here's something that a lot of people don't know. I'm guessing you don't know. You know, you can get uh, packing supplies directly from eBay if you have a store subscription. And how much do those cost? Well, it depends how big your store is. But quarterly, they send you a little coupon uh, with my store size, which isn't the biggest, isn't the smallest, I get fifty dollars worth of free supplies a quarter. Um, hold on a second, okay? Let me get this right. You're buying baseball cards for next to nothing. Sure. And eBay gives you free supplies. Well, I mean, I do pay for the store subscription, but yeah. So you're getting. I mean, they're they're basically paying you to ship stuff. Well, they're, they're taking away the excuse. Let's say you uh, get this football card, right? You're excited. Your kid's there. You're going to watch the Super Bowl. This is your team. And that comes in, and you open it up, and it's like in a uh, cut-up uh, cornflake box. What are you going to think? Mm, yeah, that's real nice. I mean, does that show that somebody cares? Uh, I Honestly, I didn't hear you. I'm dumpster diving here. Okay, well... Well, when you come back to the podcast, we'll go right back into it. But uh, Look at that. There's this cool slide-up phone. All right on. Slide-up phone. Free 50 free. Well, there's... Sorry, let me focus on what you were talking about. Yes. So you order supplies. something, right? You want to show up in, uh, you know, a Wonder Bag? Wonder no, Bread Bag? Come on now. If, you're, if I'm spending 30 bucks on a Robert Gronkowski Gronk uh, card, I, I expect it to be pristine. So, I mean, so you can get supplies. Here's a quick note. You can get your supplies from lots of places. I happen to have uh, a father who gets me most of his supplies and gives it to me. Um, your bubble wrap, your cardboard, your uh, poly mailers I get from different places. Um, but you know, you're gonna you're gonna get your size. You don't want to send it in a in a big old box. Like if you're getting a you're getting a a card, you don't want that in a 12 by 12 box, right? No, it's, it's got to be the right size. It's got to be everything. And it sounds like you've got a pretty good system in place to take care of that. Well, yeah. I mean, you want to find a place, a uh, good place to look for I mean, if you go to local stores, yeah. what are they throwing away all the time? Good stuff, apparently. Good stuff, because what do the... I mean, they get their orders in, right? Yeah. They get them in boxes. They throw away boxes all the time. And they throw away bubble wrap all the time. All the time. You're uh, going there and saying, hey, bub... Hey, pal. Hey, hey, Mac. Yeah, get your buddy, the shipping manager, and, and yeah, whatever. Just say, hey, you guys got any bubble wrap? Sure, pal. You got any boxes? We're throwing it away out back. You mind if I take it? No, nah, go ahead, pal. Hey, can I come every Tuesday and pick that up from you? Hey, it works for me. Right on. There's you ever heard of a little thing called the newspaper? Uh, newspaper. You know, I'm still kind of old school. I actually subscribed to the newspaper. Mm-hmm. But the problem was, is it would just stack up out on the front porch here at the office. And, yeah, I, I unsubscribed. Well. And it, you, they actually gave it to me for free, so I didn't really, you know, pay well, for it. You save that. You can wrap your delicates in it, right? My delicates? Your delicates. Say say you have a Gronkowski card, you can you can wrap it in the sports page or something. I thought you meant, like, my, uh, you know, my delicates. Oh, your delicates, yeah. yeah. Uh, my delicates, like my voting <laughs> delegates, is that what we're talking about now? <laughs> Let's not get too political or else we'll be off on a tangent and lose half of our uh, listeners, yeah, well, all three of them. <laughs> we, we don't want to get it just shut down right now. So, uh, anyways, if you go to a local paper, most towns have local papers still. 
or bigger cities. Titan they, News, Pacing Chronicle. They have what's called an end roll. You ever heard of an end roll? That sounds like if I'm around an end roll and I'm in a public restroom, that could be bad news. Yeah, if you're around an end roll, the next guy coming in is going to need a roll. That's what I think is going to happen there. Anyways, end rolls are uh, like unused rolls of the paper that they just got to throw away because they're out of space or whatever. And uh, if you go ask them, they'll either sell it to you for cheap or just get rid of it because it's just a waste on them. So it's like a big roll of newspaper that's got nothing on it. It's got nothing on it. And a lot of those places, they don't even know what to do with it. So you're actually doing them a favor. Or if they're a little business savvy, they might say, yeah, 10 bucks or something like that. But you get, I mean, a roll of uh, papers for your delicates. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just some ideas here, right? So it sounds like you've got some good uh, opportunities to get shipping supplies for... Next to nothing. Next to nothing. Or nothing. You've given some, some tidbits about wrapping delicates. Fragile items. Fragile. 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 Well, let's say, I mean, here's what I'm thinking people are listening to. They're saying, yeah, Derek, but you're good looking. <laughs> oh, people God. like you. That's very, very true. You live in a big city that has a lot of stores and a lot of opportunities, and there's lots of people that will just give you their stuff, right? Yeah, Snowflake. That's what they're thinking. You look really good in Central Park, Snowflake. So, uh... Let's 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 take back the kimono just a bit. Peel back that onion, right? The kimono, huh? Yeah, give a little peek. Um, how big's the city that I live in? Uh, last time I checked the uh, 2010 census, the thing were like at uh, uh, 11,000. Uh, how many grocery stores do we have in town? Oh heavens! Uh, I'm going to go with the big goose egg on that one. How many WalMarts do we have in our town? Uh, where we live, none. Close to, very close. Very close, but in the actual town, zero. I'm taking away excuses here, right? You are taking. How many uh, friends do I have that are uh, have have stores on Main Street? Would you say uh, zero? Or in town, zero. So if I can find this stuff. Pretty much anybody can. Anybody can. So I'm taking away the excuse, right? Okay. I can't get that stuff. I get what you're going. You're okay. Saying, you're, saying, saying, you're kind of homely looking. I'm saying I'm Sweet a, spirit. I'd be a very handsome woman. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a real visualization, love... I know you're going to you know, shoot me here. I love the movie The Greatest Showman. Really good. Never seen her. You probably haven't, but I'm sure a lot of you listen First to off, The Greatest Showman's Vincent Kennedy McMahon. <laughs> Go ahead with your story. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> we are going into... He, he is excellent. Let's let's be honest here. So we love something to wrestle here at Bridge, Bruce Pritchard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anywho, uh, Greatest Showman, you know, pretty good show about our, you know, P.T. Barnum circus. You ever heard of the circus? I dreamed of joining it. Uh, exactly. Anyways, our, our friend here may or may not be a spitting image of the bearded woman. Oh, yeah. Well, she's popular. She made some good money. Oh, that's what I'm saying. People came from all around. They didn't come to see, you know, the leprechauns. I'm just kind of pulling back the, what do you call it, Komodo dragon? You no, know, I'll say curtain with you. Okay, curtain. <laughs> so that gives you the visual. So what we're saying is if, if hey, he can do it, anybody can do it. If you it. want to see what I look like, I just joined the Instagrams. Whoa, whoa. But you can go over to the, the Twitter machine, D-Roy Everett. The Twitters. I got, I got wrong episode one, but I think there's probably a picture of me up there. So, Well, that's good. Well, let's, we'll cut into So that. anyway, okay, so we got so we took away your excuse. Yes, no you excuse. You can find some supplies. You can you can bulk up on your supplies, or you can buy it. Plenty of places to buy it for, for pretty cheap. Um, you want to be paying attention to the size. That's going to differ with... You know, your weight, your size, your dimensions, that's all going to come down to what the thing costs to ship. Man, you know what I'm dealing with right now? What's that? Shipping my wheelchairs. Oh. 435 bones to Florida. See, that's that's a little spendy. I know. I don't know what I'm doing. My Gronkowski card, I'm hoping to be under about three bucks on that baby. Well, this sucks. That's bad boy. 64 pounds, so. Well, yeah. here, here's something for you. So, I mean, there's people out there that are handwriting. Like, say you sell 10 things a day on eBay, even yeah. three things. Yep. You're handwriting on uh, each of those, the address. How much time's that taken? That's way too much time. So, I mean, obviously, eBay makes that easy for you, too. You can just print off a label. I like to use this new thing called Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship. All right, Jack Sparrow. Or, I mean, some people use, I'm sure you heard stamps.com before. Oh, yeah, I heard of stamps.com. So, I mean, there's plenty of ways to ship your stuff right there. And maybe someday, if there's more questions, we can go into details about all those things. But basically, shipping options so you don't have to go and wait in that line at the post office. Ahoy, matey. You ever been to the post office? 
Yes, sir. You ever been to the post office around Christmas time? Uh, no. You want to know one of the better feelings in the world? <laughs> Let's hear one of the better feelings in the world. And you have a box full of stuff. There's a line coming out of your post office uh-huh. of people that just want to pay for their stuff and ship it to their loved ones. Okay. They're mad. They're cold. They're angry. All right. You got your box. And you just walk past the line, dump it off on the counter, walk back, and get all those death glares of people saying, who do you think you are? Well, should we get into that? Do, they, do you want to get into who you really are? Oh, we'll get into it. Well, well I'm just saying. It's that. coming down the line. It, it, your, your postmaster incident? Yeah, it's on here. Oh. Right here. See right there. Post office. See, we don't even need to correlate. I Post read, office. I can already read your mind. We, we, we made this. notes. Uh, but, yeah, so you don't want to wait in line. No. You don't want to pay. First off, if you buy from um, any of those places I, I listed, they have bulk shipping discounts. All right. So you and me goes to the post office, and we got 10 things, and say, hey, we're shipping quite a bit. I want a discount. You know what? You know what Postmaster General is going to say to you? Uh, get in the back of the line. Get in the back of the line and laugh and say, "Oh, that's cute." He thinks he ships a lot. But if you got somebody behind you, like an eBay or you know, this pirate ship that has millions of people using it that go for bulk rates, you're going to save you some money, right? Sounds good to me. So you're going to get this bulk rate discount. Uh, the thing I like about pirate ship is they give you the cubic. You get a cubic discount. Is that Spanish again? So you're not going by square footage. You're going by cubic rate. Hold on a second. You just brought up a great point. Which might be something to look for with this wheelchairs you got, actually. Uh, you probably, I really ought to get to the cubic. But that might be freight. You might be freight because those things are a little heavy and big. They're I, a little oversized. They are a little oversized. Kind of like uh, me. Yeah, and we love you. The old me. And I not cabbage you. I cabbage, yeah. We'll, we'll cabbage me. Beard man you. But, but what you're saying is cubits. That sounds like something that I should have learned in ninth grade, but my teacher said I really didn't. Like, they told me I was going to use it my entire life. You want to know what my math teacher did once? <laughs> Let's hear what your math True teacher did. True story. I'm not going to name names because uh, I don't want her to feel like she's important at all. Mrs. Johnson. We'll call her, yeah. We'll call her math teacher woman. Math teacher woman, okay. So once she uh, got in front of the class, and let's put, let's say I wasn't in like the advanced class. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. And uh, so they're trying to teach uh, algebra or whatever pre-algebra to us kids. Yeah. You know, the uh, remedials, <laughs> <laughs> the special guys, <laughs> and gals. Uh, you, the uniques. Shout out to uh, you know who you are out there. All of us special kids, right? <laughs> that we're trying to learn math. Yes. Lady has a, a breakdown about how she's not making enough and they're not paying her what she should be making to teach math to kids. Okay, in class? To kids like us. <laughs> to, to, the, to the slow kids? <laughs> to, to people like us, they're like, you can tell us how much you're making and we can divide it and figure out your hourly wage if you want, but you're going to have to teach us first, right? So now here I am selling on eBay, trying to use cubic zirconian decimal systems, and I'm still doing it. So what you're saying is... I, I got some anger as well. Yeah, you, yeah, we're getting into almost the red volume here. we got to tone her down much. I'm sorry. But again, what you're saying is these items, these things, anybody can learn it. Oh, yeah, it's simple. I mean, I guess why I'm trying to take out that excuse, too. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Okay. Um, also, with this, which is a little different than your post office, uh, you know how many ounces is in a pound? 16. So if it's under 16 ounces... You can ship it first class. Break there from Extreme Modus. <laughs> Your off-road wheelchairs. Yes, sir. And well, that thing was quite light. Hey, it was quite light, but it's still pretty expensive to ship. So hopefully you can give me some more tips on that. Well, let's get back to that. So we were talking about um, rates. And obviously, end of the year, rates go up. Everyone has that kind of thing happen. So that's something you want to be aware of. Um, but then you go to the post office. You skip the lines. Most... Uh, Post offices either have a bin you can drop in or a counter you can drop off at. Um, if you're new to the game, it's kind of one of those things that's kind of, a, I'd say, a little intimidating at first because you don't want your stuff getting stolen. You don't want the post office to have, uh, you know, crosswords with you or lose your stuff. Um, but, yeah, so you drop all that off, right? Also, what you can do is on the USPS website, you can schedule a home pickup for free. They'll come to my house to come get this stuff? And you don't even got to be a shipper. Like, you can have them come pick up your own mail. A lot of people don't know about this. Um, basically, you can go there. You just kind of put what you got. If you want to schedule, like, a time, I think it's, like, 20 bucks. So, if you're like me, 
you ain't gonna pay twenty bucks because you know they're gonna come pick up your mail and you know about what time they're gonna come pick up your mail because it's about the same time every day, right? Okay. So you schedule a pickup when they come to get your mail, drop off your mail in your neighborhood. Uh, they'll come pick up your stuff for you. Again, it sounds like that's no excuse. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you live like in the middle of somewhere, maybe there's some restrictions to that I don't know about, but basically everyone that's hearing this probably can do this. So hold on, you're, now you're again saying me, you found something at Walmart in the clearance section. No, it's not just, you know, there's an art and a science to it. Sure, I mean, I think half the problem is sometimes I make this sound a little too easy. There's work involved, but it's not... You know, back-breaking, digging ditch labor work. So it's like rocket science, right? I'm um, sure. I don't know if you remember the story about my math teacher complaining that she doesn't make enough money to teach us how to add and divide. That's why I need a guy like you to do my taxes. All right, all right. So <laughs> you're saying this is the whole process. You found something at, at a thrift Walmart clearance superstore. You kind of have an idea what you're looking for. Uh, eBay or whichever other place gives you the items to ship it in yeah. and, and eBay makes it super simple. You send it out. They'll come pick it up from your house. And and where's the line of excuses again? Well, here's the thing, too. We're talking a lot about eBay and maybe somebody out there saying, oh, that's great. I sell on Etsy. I sell on Amazon. We can go into more detail on all the different platforms at some point, right? Okay. But post office, USPS, or FedEx pretty much... I mean, you can all these platforms you can ship on them. I think Amazon makes it like super easy. I think they use UPS if I remember to send it into their warehouse. There's a few different ways to sell on Amazon. I'm not the expert, but we will definitely talk to one at some point. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. There's there's ways to ship things, and it's not really rocket science, right? All right, all right. You're you're getting me with some good tips, some everything, but entertain me, man. Entertain you. This is like this is. I, I'm in class and I'm falling asleep. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's that's what makes us different, right? We want to be those guys that you're you're hanging out with, and you're like, man, I want to I want to go out. I want to have that drink of water that guy owes me. That's right. We'll we'll get you the, that nice uh, beverage. So whole, I I gotta I gotta break out of the the, uh, the the boringness here. Let's get into that that postmaster story. Okay, we'll get the postmaster. But let me ask you something first, right? Because uh, we're doing a lot of death piles. We need some taxes. Okay. I'm going to the post office, I'm buying these supplies, I'm uh, shipping my items, my Gronk card's sitting there in my uh, inventory, as as we say. What's what's my tax implication on that? What's deductible? What, what are we looking at on something like that? I don't want to get into the uh, nerdy part of the taxes. Okay, but easy. Guys like me. Okay. The remedial math guys. <laughs> remedial math. Or gals. Or gals, that's right. Bearded People. women. People. The Bearded Women Union of America. <laughs> I like that union. Um, just like we talked about, like I said, you've got some cards that you spent. Uh, there's a couple ways to get into it. <clears throat> With the dollar amounts we're talking about, we're not going to get into fair market value. We're not going to get into... <laughs> yeah, I can check the Beckett. What about LIFO, FIFO? You ever heard of that? FIFO. Last in, first out? Oh, first yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. First in, first, first out. First in, first out, yeah. yeah. FIFO. Uh, I work in a warehouse. Okay. Yeah, I know. Ingredients. Expiration dates. I got gotcha. you. All right. Uh, you're looking at me like you don't believe me. No, I was going to go somewhere, but I said <laughs> okay. not to. Um, anyways, that, those are getting to your bigger inventory items, your allotments of those. I mean, you're talking buying some cards, selling it for 30 bucks. Great. That's what we need. Um, you know, we're going to write off what you spend at Walmart, okay? We're going to write off your mileage to go to Walmart. Oh, wait a minute. So I'm going to Walmart. I can write off my mileage. How much... Are we talking a mile? Because this isn't even probably worth me taking my time to do it. I think it's 53 and a half cents. 53 and a half cents. Might have gone up to 54. I don't know. They change it all the time. So, well, I'm out going to thrift stores. I'm out going yes. to yard sales on a Saturday morning. Yes. I'm driving to the post office uh-huh. you're, stores. And you're going there anyways. I get how much? 53 and a half cents of a deduction. So, if I go two miles. <laughs> well, don't do math on the air. Whoa. Oh. That's over a dollar. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <I, laughs> Your math teacher would be so proud. And uh, Walmart's more than two miles from me. So what we're saying is, is getting back to that, let's do some simple math here. Yeah, yeah. Selling it for 30 okay, and you really bought it for, you know, a couple, fit, five bucks, you got all your stuff graded, we'll just call it 10 bucks. Okay, we'll just say you paid 10 Sure. selling it for 30 But the nice part is, is you have the ability to write off miles. To write off shipping supplies, which we're not paying a lot for because we're getting it for your deep discount. Deep discount rates. Deep discount. 
I have to have to go visit my dad. But here's the thing: while you're going there, guess what else you're doing? You're picking me up. We're going to the Chinese place. Uh, we love us some Chinese, and we're bringing out the Beckets. We're talking. We're talking that. So hold up. So I pick you up because we're going to Walmart anyways. You need to get some grocery items. I need to see what's on sale. We stopped by the Chinese buffet, and we got the Beckett. We got the magazines or whatever. We're talking business. I get right that off. Did you see that cool thing I sent you uh, about our buddy um, Jerry Seinfeld Kramer the other day? No. Yeah, I gotta show it to you. It's called they they write it off. They write it off. I mean, who, who's writing it off? I'm telling you what to write off. <clears throat> Those are business expenses. So wait a minute. The IRS is going to come at my door. They're going to audit me. They're going to say, you and your buddy are eating Chinese food. You owe us $30. Well, we're going to say, and we're, like, honestly, we're going to keep a log because now everybody keeps a log. When you use your credit card, guess what that's called? It's, oh, it's called debt. It's called a log. Oh, okay. Well, All if right. you're smart, I mean, you have a credit card, you buy, you know, you use yeah. it. You, you know, you I, I hear you, I hear you. Anywho, you're going to write that off. You know, there's so many different items. Your tax preparation, like I said, we've gotten to that. Um, there's lots of different things that you can do. And ideally, you want to get that $30 thing that you made money on, and you want to pay taxes on, you know, like 10 bucks of it. That sounds like a full-time job. No, no, it's, it's not. I'm going to bring in a quick little tidbit here. We've been on the Reddit. Mm-hmm. You, you know what Reddit is? We know the Reddit. Until about three weeks ago, I had no idea what Reddit was. It's on the internet. It's on the interwebs. So Reddit, I'm sure most of the people listening here, or, or if you haven't, it's an interesting place to go to. Uh, it's, it's I don't know, what do you call it? Like Twitter, but for smarter, I don't know, people? Uh, just call it like a forum. Like a forum? Yeah. Um, so on this forum, there's an entire thing dedicated to flipping Okay. And that's kind of what we're going to get into. So yeah. the question is that was posted, and just so you know, I'm called uh, Death Pile Accountant. That's my my handle, I think uh, the kids you, call it. You'll find him. Death Pile Accountant. You're Anyways, not anonymous no more. I'm not. <clears throat> is there an app that anyone uses to manage expenses for profit? Uh, what do you use, Evie? Um, well, what I use is, uh, what's that called? GoDaddy Bookkeeping. Okay, GoDaddy Bookkeeping. That's kind of where I log my miles. I'm not as good as I should be about going back, doing my monthly... Reconciliation? Uh, yeah, what I bought, what I sold. So when I come to you, I hand you a stack of papers and you can say, okay, I see what you did here. <laughs> well, and I expect that from him and, and honestly most people. <laughs> and, you know, I've really gotten sick of it. So what I've really tried to do is I try and help my people out. Okay, so let's answer this question, right? Yes. So is there an app, or what What would you recommend? Well, depending on the dollar amount sales you have, I mean, people say Excel, Google Sheets, Office has an app, blah, 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 uh, PME, all these kind of things. I would really recommend, if you're doing this, you know, real time, you mm-hmm. know, you're, you're selling some items, uh, you know, you're bringing in 60000 and plus uh, in gross sales, I would be using QuickBooks Online. Yeah. And the reason why is it keeps track of your income, your expenses. There's a lot of things we can get into as far as being an S corporation, a sole proprietor. But that really gives you the ability to track it, and it's super easy from your phone. It automatically connects with your bank account. I mean, it, it it's going to give you just like when uh, oh man, what's his name? Bill Gates. You know Bill Gates, right? I've been to his house. You probably have. I have. I, I bet you. <laughs> I, I bet, bet you Bill have. Gates. Well, I haven't been inside. No, but I've been to his house. Yeah, the least the hounds. <laughs> <laughs> nice cards. Yeah. Anyways, once a month, you know, he gets a profit and loss statement. Sure. You know what? Because of your business you will get a profit and loss statement. Okay. Do you know what one of those are? I, I actually do. Well, it's because I've taught you well. Yeah, you've taught me well. Well, here's the thing, right? Like, people like, you know, we just want to sell. We just want to make money, and we don't want to deal with the hassles and stuff. So that's why Correct. I recommend getting an accountant. Well, that's lovely. That's where you come in. Um, because you can make this kind of stuff sound easy and or I hand you my stuff, and you tell me, okay, here's your profit loss, Here's your things. You take out the the hard parts gone, the excuse again. We're taking out the excuses. Yeah, no excuses. That's really what we try and do is, you know, I've done this for 13 years. I've worked with a lot of uh, different type of businesses. And this online selling is just intriguing me. And just like you said, I, I think it's here to stay. Yeah, the Internet's not going anywhere. Here's a fun story. So I don't... Um, 
My dad used to be a traveling salesman, right? Yes. So I'd go all across the western U.S. with him. Okay. Uh, he had an account in, I think it was Fillmore. Fillmore, somewhere in that southern central Utah area. Was it Fillmore or Beaver? It's that very same area. That, that area. Okay. Um, so the kid, when I say kid, he's probably in his, his mid-twenties, something like that. His his dad owned like a farming store. Uh, so he was, he was... You know, probably, I don't know, five, ten years older than us. Okay. So I'm going, maybe my, I, I mean, you know, I don't even remember how old I was, but I'm going with him, and this guy's starting to sell stuff on the internet, right? Okay. And his dad thinks he's crazy. Of course. And this is pre, I think this might even be pre-eBay, or he wasn't selling on eBay, and was actually made a website, he was selling, like, boots. Was this his party, like, 1999 time? He was selling boots and, like, refurbished stuff. Pre-Prince party, like it's 1999? I, you know, I don't want to lie to these good people listening to us, but it was somewhere in the early, the early aughts, late 90s. Okay, okay. And uh, basically, that's what he told his dad. So his dad had this this farm feed store, and he's, he's selling this stuff online and figuring out how to sell, like, boots, like, ropers, like, to, to people in Kansas or whatever. And he's selling it. His dad thinks he's crazy because he has this brick-and-mortar business, but that's basically what he said to uh, his dad. This internet thing's... Not go anywhere. It's here to stay. It's here to stay, and he's early adopter. I don't know how that business turned out. If he's still doing it, if he's went to online somewhere like you know an eBay and Amazon or something like that, or if he's just running out of his own. Was his name Mark, Mark Zuckerberg? Is that who it was? Mark Zuckerberg. No, was I can't, can't remember this guy's name, but it definitely wasn't uh, anything that sounded like Mark Zuckerberg. Jeff Bezos. Yeah, yeah. Is that who it was? Yeah, I could out be his garage. I'll tell you a true story. Well, allegedly, it's true. It's true. Uh, yeah, details. Well, I can, I can get some more. I, I, I can make a phone call or two. We can have this resolved. I'm sure you could. So the so premise of that story Point is... Point of the story is Internet's not going anywhere, and uh, it's, what, 20, 30 years now? I don't even know how long it's been around. Yeah. It's, it's only getting more popular. People, so, people get bored at the dentist or at the doctor's office and wait. They're buying stuff on the Internet, right? That's a true statement. So what you're saying is the Internet's not going away... Selling and buying things are not going away. And I'll promise you one thing that's not going away. The IRS. The IRS. I got a good end for the show. End for the show or end? End. end. Uh-oh. But I don't know. Maybe I should spoil it here. Um, we've only been on for like 25 minutes. Well, I still got some things to cover. But I thought about this the other day and it made me chuckle. Okay. The only two things in life that are for certain. Death piles and taxes. Oh. Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh. Whoa. That's going to come again at the end here, kids. So you wait for that. Pretend like you just didn't hear it. Wow. So, okay, so we got our questions. If you have a question, go ahead and tweet it at us, D-Roy Everett, or you come to deathpilesandtaxes.com. Which which is going to be tied to uh, add them up account. That's where I'm going with that. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I know you're a humble man. All right. But, guys, if you honestly want a uh, person to do your accounting that – can break it down for you and let you know what's up. Um, you need you can talk to my buddy Adam here or his team, right? So Adam, how do they get a hold of you? Say they're out there and they want a tax man, and you sound like the guy that they want to uh, employ or be a partner with. Well, I appreciate you saying that, but I think you kind of have to because you're my friend. Well, and we got this podcast together, but okay. I'll even say that. Okay, say you don't trust Adam or like Adam and think that he sounds like a scumbag. Um, There's a lot of people like that. You still need an accountant, so go find one. That's true. If you want one that knows about online selling, and when you come and talk to him, can, you can be in any uh, anywhere in the world, and he'll take care of you. Yes. Um, then and you're gonna, you want you're gonna want Adam. And let's be—I mean, how many other accountants are uh, doing podcast? I don't know. None that I listen to. That's true. That's true. Uh, we'll, we'll hope to increase that number by being here at our you, office. You pencil pushers. We are. I've got my. Uh, Pocket protector and my glasses. Well, first off, what's your credentials, right? You're just some guy on the internet that maybe they found and listened to at this point. So you know, I'm not like a guy that likes titles because I just and I don't. I'm not a guy like I don't care if you have a fancy piece of paper that says you're smart. Here's the thing: I I know that you went to school. I don't know your credentials. You've been doing my stuff for years, but I'm asking for the folks out there. Okay, well, we'll get in my my college days. Needless to say, I could have been a doctor with as long as I took to graduate. Yeah, I could still be a lawyer. That's true. That's true. Anywho, I'm a, what they call an enrolled agent. Okay. Most people. Uh, let's be honest. Ninety percent, ninety-five percent of the people listening to this have no idea what that is. Enrolled agent. Is yeah. that like a step above the guy working at Walmart? Everybody thinks that. Um, you have to be a CPA. 
Yeah. Certified yeah. public accountant. Yeah, I've heard of that. Of course, you've heard, everybody's heard of a certified public accountant. Mm-hmm. Uh, certified public accountants, you know, they're, they're certified to do these really cool audits and public you know, accounting, public accounting, you know, uh, stuff like, you know, that I really don't care about. I'm sure. not going to go in and yeah, looking at Walmart's books are really cool. And, you know, Jeff Bezos and doing you control know, I, audits. I've stuff. met him before. Well, it's son. Go ahead. All right. No, yeah, sure you have. Anywho's, I really met Bill. I've been to Bill Gates's house. That Bezos stuff is lies, people. But I, I don't want to discredit my name on the second episode. Your good name. Anywho's, that's what a CPA does. They're really involved in these publicly traded companies, and there's still a lot that are involved in, uh, you know, the profession like I am. But I'm an enrolled agent. It's essentially has the same credentials. I can, you know, do a lot of things with the IRS. Um, anywho's, that's what it is. Same thing, just a different name to it. Um, but I focus on you know companies, small companies that really usually do less than ten million in, in revenue, and small businesses. That's that's what I do. So you're legit. Uh, too legit to quit. Oh, there we go. Say the IRS calls me up and says, "Hey, hey, Derek, like we see that you're selling cards well, online." Well, well, hold on. First off, the IRS won't call you. Oh, they call me all the time, man. <laughs> <laughs> they call me, and all I gotta do is uh, pay them with a prepaid card, and we're cool for like six months. It seems like. Is that why you called me the one night saying you were in the gas station and you couldn't have a ride home? Is that what happened? <laughs> the guy took my car. <laughs> no, <laughs> just I, let me disclaim that the okay. IRS will not call you and say, "Please meet me at the gas station," or "Please Western Union me money." Yeah, it'll be a nice. It'd be a nice gas station. They're you, not gonna meet you at this corner one over here. You can pay with Apple Pay. No, no, you can't pay the IRS with Apple Pay. Okay, so that's a big scam. Everyone that's knows big, that, right? Big scam. So. But okay, they contact me and they say, yes. we've been looking at your books. With a, with a letter. Your books, which yes. I'm using air quotes because I don't know that I got books. We're looking at your return. Uh, this doesn't look right. Well, yeah, we can fix that for sure. We can fix anything with that. But I No, I come to you and I say, yes. you handle it. Yes, we'll take I care I paid of you that. money, you handle this. Yeah, yeah you can. Uh, I'm what's called your power of attorney. So you're just going to take over and sell things. 2848, sign that sucker, and I can yell at the IRS all day long. You know, I've been hung up on by the IRS several times. I can, I can believe that. <laughs> you can believe that? You know, no. there's, there's also, I, I reported them to TIGDA, you know, because everybody thinks it's the big bad IRS and they don't can't get in trouble, which is, it's true. But I got so mad at this lady because she literally hung up and my client was crying right in front of me, and I said, that's just not right. And I called and, and I turned her in. So, so, so I can do that. I can do that for so you. So basically, what I'm talking about, eBay is taking care of the packaging excuses. We get you to be our accountant, yes. or your team. Stuff goes wrong for whatever reason. You're going to stand behind us. Well, yeah, and the only reason stuff's going wrong is because you're filing it by yourself on TurboTax. Well, say I, I talk to a nice guy down at the store or TurboTax. What happens if the IRS contacts me? They stand behind me, right? They're going to be there, taking it. Take, yeah, it, you know what? You sign a little form saying, I provided all this information, and that's what the form says. So once again, folks, um, if you, you, you're going to need an accountant if you're doing this. If you're anywhere serious about this, if you want to get your maximum deductions on, on online selling, I recommend using my buddy Adam. My family uses him. My in-law, he just told me my mother-in-law is coming in on Monday. You don't send your mother-in-law to somebody you don't trust with money. True statement. Or you're going to hear about it and or be paying for it, right? Correct. <laughs> Especially, um, you know, so this day and age. So how, how are they going to contact you? So we can go to our website. It's called Adam Up Accounting. That would be my first name, Adam, the word up, and accounting.com. Okay, so Adam, we went over this the other day. but just did. I mean, some people might have just found the podcast. It's true. Went to the second episode because the first one was too much for them to handle. It's true. Adam, just like the man's name. Like the man, like the first man ever. Add them up accounting. Add them up. And then what do they do? They'll go to their website. We've got several ways for you to contact us there. Uh, starting here very shortly, we will have a chat on the website. A chat? Yeah. So like how you were picking up girls in the 90s? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, that was like those little note, you know, like you pass those cards, you know, pass the little Oh, like things. an internet chat. I never did that. I'll be honest, never done that my whole life. That's because he's not cool. I'm not cool. Uh, you're right, I'm not cool. That's why you want to trust him with your money. He's That's, never online chatted with a girl. That's absolutely true. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, so they chat you up, right? So, yeah, like I said, you can chat us there. You can email us. Uh, we've got a wonderful um, staff here. You can call 
They'll get your information. We can do everything online. Like I said, you don't have to come here and meet with us. I'll, if you're close, we'd love to. Sure. We can do a uh, virtual meeting with you, take care of it all online. Uh, it's what I do. I mean, like I said, I've done it for 13 years now. Um, you you want to know a scary thing? Um, sure. Uh, I looked at it the other day. I figured over the years that I've done this, um, I've done well over 10,000 tax returns. Well, that's like big bucks. 10,000. Well, that's why we're having this conversation. Yeah, that's why you do the hours. That's why he is the taxes of the death pile and taxes, folks. That's right. And that's just... Uh, Returns. We also take care of payroll. We also take care of bookkeeping. I mean, if you yeah, but you've just done that like here locally. What do you mean? I mean, there's somebody listening in South Dakota. Well, yeah, my buddy lives in North Dakota, and we do his stuff. Uh, okay. Well, there's somebody that's listening in like Florida. Yeah, my amigo. We just I just talked to him. In fact, I just sent, sent him a wheelchair. Okay. Do somebody his stuff. somebody on the other side of the world selling on uh, eBay Canada. Mm, can I? In fact, my Canuckers are coming in two weeks. They're bringing me dinner. All right, they've retired and they're over in Italy. Uh, you know my boy JT's in Italy. JT, yeah. Huh? We we got. What's he do? He's a basketball player. Like legit professional. So you do uh, professional athlete. They they make some money. He's my man. He's 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 a good guy. Like I said, we take care of his stuff. So he's in like the Euro League. He is. Something like that? Yeah, yeah, he's in the Euro League. I mean, we take care of a lot of people, and and literally, it's all over the world. All right, so you're covering businesses. You're covering professional athletes. You're covering. Um, I, guys like me, the death pile, sales. the death pile guys. So <coughs> we, we anywhere from a few thousand bucks to probably what millions. Yeah, we take care of the biggest. I mean, works really selective. We hit our niche. I mean, that five million in sales. Like, but let's be honest. Once you get there, you better be having somebody full time on your staff. Sure. Because if you're not, I guarantee you, somebody's stealing from you. Okay. So so wait a minute. All right. So I'm making some decent money. I would need an accountant. Yes. And I'm. Uh, you know, a few hours ahead of you. I got some questions. You're not going to take my call. Uh, shoot me an email. You can, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out for You'll you. You'll get back to me in like a week? Uh, right now, no. I mean, we're pretty good on their stuff. In fact, I got a guy just sent me. We'll, we'll try to get back to you that day, 24 hours. Chat you up on the on the interwebs now. Now that you're getting used to this. Yeah, the interwebs. We, have, we will be right there, and we'll be responding to you. We've got a good staff here, and, and we're, we're prepping. But it's probably going to cost me, like, a lot more than if I went to... TurboTax or... Well, first off, we buy people's time. I don't know if we can use Turbo... TurboTax don't sue us. Into it. I've got a pretty good relation. I've been there several times. We're working with them. Okay. But, it's, you know, those are a lot cheaper for people. Well, you... I mean, people say, like, free. I don't know if you've seen those commercials. Oh, man, I hate those commercials. Free, 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 free. Free is for me, right? Free. Yeah, I know you like free. But here's the problem. They call it bait and switch. Sure. One of those things they get in there and you say free and you get in there and by the time you're done it's like six hundred and fifty dollars. That's not free. That is not That's free. Not free. And you just spend all of your time. We're really reasonable on what we charge. I mean a lot of it's based off of uh kind of transaction stuff, but you know probably be between, you know, five hundred dollars to a thousand. Just depends on how many transactions, what state you're doing, what other things you're selling. But we try to be really reasonable with people and you're buying advice and you're buying uh, expenses that you didn't know. So, folks, he's really reasonable. I use him. Like I say, everyone I know uses him. If you don't f sell really full time on eBay, you're just checking this out. You want your personal stuff done? Try him out. Also, um, we talked about this last week, but let's hit it again. That stuff that's tax deductible, anyways. That's, that's an expense. Like I said, the amount you pay to us, we're trying to find it, dig deep in what you're spending. You know, because I'll ask you things that you, you know, plum forgot about. Sure. That's why I'm telling you, track it. Like I said, use QuickBooks Online. If you can't buy it, use GoDaddy. Well, and really, after the first time I met with you, I mean, we've been buddies for years, right? But you haven't always done my taxes. So after the first time I met with you, you opened my eyes to things that can be, you know, track this and you can write it off. You're going to save money in the long run. And uh, that's kind of where you make your money, right? If I'm not happy or, or getting tax advice that I feel is fair... I'm not going to come back to you. That's, I'm not going to refer people to you. That's right. Go check us out on Google. We've got some good reviews up there. Like I said, we try and take care of everybody. Like I said, we try to really make it a pleasant experience. We want you to be educated because the more educated you are, the smarter seller you are. I mean, just I mean, explaining what taxes are. We don't. You didn't learn that in school, did you? No, I don't think so. I don't know. No, not that I'm aware of. Uh, obviously, it didn't sit in your it mind. It didn't stink, uh, stink, stink, <laughs> sit, sit in well if it did. Yeah, because all that trigonometry you're using, instead of really saying, hey, guess what, guys? 
the rest of your life you're gonna pay taxes. Um, also, like people are talking here's some here's some scuttlebutt on the interwebs Ooh, on the scuttlebutt on what we'll call the forums or the uh, the Facebook groups, all that. If you have a question too, folks, feel free to shoot it over D Roy at D Roy Everett. Everett spelled with an I the way the good Lord intended. Um, Adam gave you his website, Facebook, Adam Up Accounting, we're all over there. People are wanting to know about tax returns. So the government was oh, just yeah. shut down, really? reopened. What's the deal? How we oh. can get our money? What's up with that? Well, it's interesting this year, if you are a uh, reseller, which we're hoping most of you are, if you aren't, you should be because there's be, no yeah. excuses. Um, there's a really unique uh, called QBI, boring stuff. It's a new deduction you're going to get, a new credit. Basically going to save you money. Okay. Um, and we're obviously not going to get into whether you're red or blue and how you vote, but I promise you, your taxes, you're going to be glad in the uh, situation because 95% of most Americans are going to be paying less in taxes this year. And that's what we like, less in taxes. That return with the shutdown and everything to get my money, no. I have my money and I want it now, How how's that going? You know, one thing we definitely encourage on here is uh, financial um, understanding Please, please don't go and do one of those uh, rapid refund things. <laughs> like, yeah, they might give you three grand a day, but they just cost you two hundred dollars to get your money instead of waiting. Like, that's just it's just not smart. So basically, get in early, and you'll probably get your money sooner with you, right? Well, normally How's that work? the problem is, is like I said, with the shutdown, with kind of what's happening with a lot of the identity fraud that they've had over the past. You know, we can't guarantee any dates on anything, but I tell people don't plan for March. Whether that's March 1st or March 31st this year, I have no idea. But the the quicker, the earlier you get in line, the better off you're going to be? Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. We have no idea. So don't book that trip to Disneyland. See, folks, I'm trying to squeeze him into getting better business by lying or telling you something that's not. I don't know if it's true or not, but telling you to come do money, get, get in line, get going with him early. And he's saying, no, that's not necessarily true. Well, you know, that's what everybody's going to tell you, but we, we, we shoot straight here. <laughs> so here I am trying to, trying to uh, I don't know. Help me out? Try to help you out, yeah. Oh, we, try to do the buddy thing. We'd love to help And us. tell them, it's, get in here sooner, you're going to get your money sooner. And you're saying, no, nah, that might not be the way it is. That's not. I mean, we want you to get in here sooner because the line's getting long. I mean, like that uh, post office line. Yeah. It's starting to, you know, back up. Sure. You know, and... We want you to be able to sneak inside the front. Hey, speaking of post office line, I promised these people a story. We got time for it. You know, we're uh, we're running. Uh, uh, where are we at? Where? We? Yeah, we got time for. We that got story. time. Also, okay. So next week's story. One of the reasons we're selling online, we probably had a bad experience at work, or we just don't play well with others, right? It's true. So I'm starting hashtag bad boss story. Bad boss story. So hit me up with your bad boss story. I'll tell you mine next week. Um, I got several. You ever worked for somebody besides yourself? Um, technically, a long, long, long time ago, and it was for a short time period. And you probably got a reason why that was a short time period? Yeah, I don't like working for people. So uh, he'll tell Bad Bass, bad bass <laughs> bad Boss. Bass. Had a roommate named Bass. Yeah. yeah. So get them stories to us. Get them over on the Twitter machine. Do what you got to do. Basically, play nice with your post office, right? They can make or break you, especially if you're in this line of work that we're in. All right. So I didn't play nice with my post office. I tried. Newman? It's like dealing with Newman. Not going to name names, anything. I actually have a lot better relationship now than I did a couple of years ago. Long story short, um, sometimes they, these guys got attitudes, right? Like going postal is a term for a reason. I, I don't know what happens in that office, but they're not always the friendliest people. Okay. Um, so I sell a lot on the internet, especially for what we covered with our small town of maybe 10,000 people, give or take. I'm guessing as far as bulk shipping goes, I'm up at the top for, I mean, we got some people that have some businesses and do some stuff. I yeah, do. You do I quite do. a bit. So this year I did, let's say, I think it was right around seven to ten thousand dollars worth in just <coughs> shipping alone, right? So hold on, you sold seven thousand dollars worth of stuff. Uh, I shipped seven thousand dollars worth of shipping costs. So you had to pay seven to ten thousand dollars in shipping. Well, here's the thing: there's no such thing as free shipping, right? <laughs> yeah, true, true. So somebody had to pay. So you're you're spending some coin. I mean, I might pay a little bit of it, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty big. Like that's respectable, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you think my local post office would be happy to have that kind of business rolling in? Hey, they're government workers. 
Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, when you when you work for yourself, you really know how to, uh, you know, stretch a dime. But unfortunately, when you work for somebody else, you, you check out. You know, I can't do that. Someday we're gonna reinvent the postal system. Like we'll just do a whole podcast of how I think it should operate. Well, I'd love to. And if you're a postal service person working out there, like God bless you, not yeah. trying to run you down. There's a lot of good ones out there, from what uh, I've heard. Absolutely. I've talked to a lot of people that love their post people. I've got several that work for me and love them to death. The people that come pick up, like I said, you schedule pickups. There's people that think that's like their employees. They treat them like family. They give them Christmas gifts. I was going to say, you tip yours up. I've tipped mine. Yeah, if they're doing a good job, you got to, right? Got to take care of them because they see you every day. But let's say your wife goes in with a bunch of stuff. Uh Uh-oh. And uh, the postmaster decides since it's her, he's going to tell her that uh, you can't do this no more. And uh, I'm trying to think of the exact terminology because I don't want to put words in somebody's mouth. But basically, you can't ship here anymore unless you... Unless you do some special forms and papers, and hmm. uh, yeah, your kind's not welcome here anymore. Nice. So she's doing me a favor. Yeah. Comes home a little upset and crying. What's a guy like me gonna do? I bet um, you're a little upset. A little upset. Had to go have a little. Uh, I'll, I'll call it come to Jesus talk discussion. A little discussion. Happened to be a woman that goes to church with me sitting there. She, she might have gave me some cross glares the next time she saw me at church after she heard that conversation I had with that guy. Nice. Uh, the post office works for you folks. That's you're, true. You're paying the bills. They don't have the right to tell you or anybody that they're not going to take your packages, that you have to do some special thing that not everyone else has to do. If you got a label on it, they have to ship it. That gets uploaded to eBay. That affects your seller rating. So I have kindly said that's what's up. Might not have got so, so much of a kind return, so I, uh, I'm i kind of like you a little bit. Like I demand my satisfaction, so uh, there's ranks to things. And I, I climbed up the ladder. I did my due diligence. I called uh, his boss's boss's boss. Like we're talking representative for the southern half of my state. The Surgeon General? Uh, I don't know. He was a general post something or another. MacGyver. There's like a flow chart. If you get deep enough in this, it's a whole new conspiracy. Anyway, he's contacted a few people. He's pleasant as punch when I see him now because uh, basically... He got in trouble. He got in trouble. And uh, not only was my conversation with him about where the sun shined and how things were to ship correct. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, you can't just go in there running it down and making up things. But I knew what I was talking about. I said, I, I've done X amount of dollars. I had the dollar figure. It was basically a used car's worth of shipping with you. You're not going to tell my wife. Like, you got my number on file, you know me. If you got a problem, talk well, to me. That's yeah. fine, you know. But when my wife comes in here doing me a favor and comes home crying and saying that you're not going to take our packages anymore, that don't sit well. So it sounds like the moral of the story is kill people with kindness. A lot more flies with honey than vinegar. I'm learning that slowly. I, I, I You know, I used to get upset pretty quick. Yeah. I'm actually toned down a little bit. It doesn't really get you that far. You know, it really doesn't. I thought this was going to be a cool story to tell. It kind of makes me sound like a jerk a little bit. Uh, people have probably thought that. <laughs> They're probably right. I, and I'm sure I know they thought that. Of nah, me. I'm a good guy. Uh, you, overall, yeah, I you're tell a good, good guy. stories. You just, you just got to keep I know it. Bill Gates. You, you have been to Bill Gates' house. I've been to Garth Brooks' house. See? We're international. Well, uh, yeah. Local. Let the thunder Respected. roll. Let the thunder roll. Basically, folks, treat people good. They'll treat you good. But don't let people walk all over you. You are a business owner. You're out there busting it. Whether you're selling an item a week or, you know, thousands of uh, dollars a week, like, there's it, a, this is serious. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of things as, as being self-employed. That's what you are. And, and I know people don't think that at sometimes. They think they're just kind of selling stuff. But if you want to do this, build it to a business. Well, that's the thing, too. Like, you'll tell people what you're doing. Like, kind of like, you know, okay, like you're uh, scrounging for things and, like, you don't you don't have work ethic, you don't have a job, uh, you're making, like, I don't know how you're affording things because you're selling things on an indoor yard sale or something like that, right? Don't don't uh, don't fall in those traps. You know what you're doing. You're a hard worker. Don't let don't let other people discourage you. Keep doing what you're doing. And guess what? you got to do your taxes. So yep. check us out. We'd love to help you out. Ask us any questions. Um, what, we got we got a wrap, final story here? Uh, final, well, my final story is we need your bad boss stories. I'm going to tell you that next week. Okay, bad uh, boss stories. Ha- hit up Adam. If you're looking for yeah. tax help or returns, it's, it's, have questions, hit him up. It's that time of year. And there's two things in life that's for certain. Uh, death pile and, and taxes. taxes.
Hi, we're the Hepatitis B Boys from Charleston, West Virginia. Oh, you're a turn to the good old U.S. Where Springsteen sang about the U.S. Oh, 